morning everyone, today is Thursday the 14th of July and I am currently on the train heading to Newcastle because it's showtime! I'm currently on Virgin Trends East Coast and we're going to see a play at the Theatre Royal in Newcastle. It's called Our Ladies of Perpetual Succor and I am looking forward to this for a very long time. It's a play I've been dying to see since I heard it did really well at Edinburgh Finch Festival and it really piqued my interest. So hopefully I'm going to enjoy it and I am going to vlog like my day in Newcastle for you guys. So hope you enjoy. Ready to suffer, I'm ready to hope, it's a shot in the dark. It's right in my throat And it won't give a heaven By the devil in me Let's give a heaven My lunch, very yummy and healthy I booked a cheap seat in the gallery, but I've actually been upgraded to row E of the lower numbers in the upper circle, which is the next level down. So I'm really excited to have been upgraded. And I've got my programme here, which is really fun. I'm going to have a read through that. And apparently the show is only two hours long. So I'm going to be out like really early. I thought it was two acts, like not like most shows, but yeah, one hour and 50 minutes. So yeah, I'm going to be home that little bit earlier. And I'm really excited to see the show. We've got an understudy as well. So it'll be fun to see her. Um, let me just have a look through the name. Understudying. We've got... Joanne McGuinness honours Orla, apparently. I shall be excited to see who Orla is. And I'll show you the view from my seat when I get in the, into the auditorium, because it's not quite open yet. But for now, I've got my strawberries, I've got my programme, and I'm going to sit and have a read. So I'll see you in the auditorium. Hey guys, so it's very much later in the day and I am actually getting ready for bed, but I thought I would tell you my thoughts on Our Ladies of Perpetual Succor and tell you a bit more about it. So Our Ladies of Perpetual Succor is a play, um, well actually it was a book called The Sopranos and it was adapted into a play by Lee Hall. And I've previously seen Lee Hall's works. He, of course, wrote Billy Elliot, the musical. And he did the Pitman Painters, which I also saw a couple of years ago. And he has written this, and in association with the National Theatre of Scotland and Live Theatre, they've produced Our Ladies of Perpetual Succor. And it was quite a good piece. I wouldn't say it was one of my favourite plays, and at times, I'll be honest, it was a bit hard to understand the Scottish accents, apart from the swearing, and there is a lot of swearing, so if you have children, I wouldn't recommend taking them to see this unless they know all those bad words already, and all the innuendo that goes with it. The play is about six teenage girls, and a crazy weekend in Edinburgh for a singing competition for their Catholic school, and of course some of them aren't perfect little, well none of them are perfect little angels and I had a really good cast um, I'll tell you the cast I had, I had Joanne McGuinness who's actually an understudy she was on for Orla and she was really really good Orla is a girl with a lot of problems and it's mentioned that she has cancer or that she's had cancer and it, so you go on a little journey with her. Another person in the cast is Caroline Dager and she plays Chell who's a very bubbly, large character and she 
pretty much goes along with the laughs basically. We don't really delve into too much of her story but she's I liked her character and Caroline played it really really well. We also had Karen Fishwick as Kay and Kay was um, another interesting character. We delved into her story a little bit as well and about she her character told a lot of stories about her sister I think it was that one um, um, I will say from the back of the upper circle which is where I was sat it was a bit hard to tell faces because my eyesight is like shockingly bad that's why I tend to sit in the stalls and I'd already been upgraded because the gallery was shut which was where I was meant to be sitting but I really liked all of the girls and they all sing really beautifully and that's the interesting thing as well on the side note it's a play with music and there are some more um, traditional choral pieces and then there is also a mixture of 1970s pop and so there are a couple of songs I recognise from the pop side of things and they've all got strengths in their voices and some voices stand out in certain songs and then others stand out in other songs and I just thought wow <laughs> um, they had really good singing voices and I'd call it a musical to be honest but it kind of wasn't because it was like they were performing the songs obviously as a choir and as young girls acting out but it wasn't as in part of a story like a proper musical so in that effect yeah it's a play with music I also had Kirsty McLaren on as Manda. Um, there were two names in the cast who I did recognise from previous West End shows and two shows I'd seen before. We had Frances McKayley Can McCann as Kyla, and she was fantastic. I'd seen her in Priscilla, Queen of the Desert before, and it was interesting to see her play such a different character. In Priscilla, she played a character called Cynthia and in this she's a lot more rounded and she's very different like obviously she's a teenage girl the accent's different and just everything is so separate so it was interesting to really see her stretch her acting chops basically and and the other actress i recognized was dawn sivright who played fionula fion fionula um and i've seen her in legally blonde in the west end and she played a character whose lives, whose life we'd sort of dug into. She was sort of a mystery in the beginning. And it seemed like all the girls just wanted to get drunk. And then it went off into three of the girls' like stories more in depth. And she was one of those um, who I think was... Her story interacted with, more with um, Kay. And there's a bit of a thing going on with them. And it was just like... A very thought-provoking play and the music broke it up a little bit the C staging was um, very very simple it was a raised set for the band who were made up of three women and then various props got brought on and off as well and it struck me how effective it was that there wasn't an ensemble to this piece because the girls play, would play like their teachers and the men that they encountered so it kind of sort of approached it was approached like they were taking the mick out of the men that they um these from these encounters i how am i trying to say this you know what i mean like they played the men and their headmistress and it just seemed like they were doing a characterization of those people so you could sort of imagine who those people actually were as well as the girls portraying them and it didn't make me cry but there were a couple of moments where I got quite emotional with some of the girls and I could really relate to some of them ones like Kay and um, Orla I was just like oh my goodness and it's like a very coming of age sort of story which I quite enjoyed so I would say to go and give this a go it certainly was an eye opener for me and I'm glad I saw it I probably wouldn't see it again but um, the cast embody those characters so well and you just need to see it and make up your own mind about it really it is coming to London it's going to the National Theatre I think it's the Dorfman from the 8th of August 2016 
I think it's there for a couple of weeks, I'm not sure, but if you can, go and check it out because it is worth seeing once. It is only one hour and 50 minutes as well, so it's not like a traditional musical, which is about two and a half hours, if not more. I mean, I was quite surprised. The show started at two and we were done by four, so yeah, plenty of time to get your dinner before the post theatre mat post matinee rush I guess if you're doing that or whatever and yeah I just want to say thank you to Newcastle Theatre Royal for hosting Our Ladies of Perpetual Sucker and to the hard working cast and the crew and the band they were all fantastic it was a proper like it was just a really good show and I really enjoyed it like I said it wasn't my favourite but I really enjoyed it and I do think it's something you need to see so thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up for me. Comment down below and subscribe. And I will see you for another theatre vlog, hopefully soon. Um, and yeah, tune in guys. Bye.